So one of my viewers asked me how to solve this integral from My Hero Academia. And in the manga, it is confirmed that the answer is equal to 107 over 28. But just one thing to note is that the artist actually made a mistake. They forgot to put in log base e. Because if this was log base 10, then the answer would be 0 0.009 and something like that. But since this is the answer, then we know that this has to be log base e. And let's convert this to ln. So this integral is actually not very hard to solve if you know about hyperbolic functions. And if you don't know about it or you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I'm going to show you. It's very easy. So we have, this is called shine. Instead of saying sine of x, we have shine of x. This is the hyperbolic version of sine. And shine is equal to e to the power of x minus e to the power of negative x over 2. That's basically this part right here. And then we have cosh. And cosh is e to the power of x plus e to the power of negative x over 2, which is this part here. And tanj is shine over cosh. So go ahead and copy these formulas down, and then we'll solve this integral. So using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we know that this is f at ln of 1 plus the square root of 2 minus f at 0 where f of x is the antiderivative, which is the integral of e to the power of x minus e to the power of negative x over 2, and all of this to the power of 3 times e to the power of x plus e to the power of negative x over 2 to the power of 11 dx. And let's change this to shine. So this is shine to the power of 3 times cosh to the power of 11 dx. From calculus, you know that cosine square plus sine square is equal to 1. But for hyperbolic functions, it is slightly different. So we have cosh square minus shine square is equal to 1. And this is something that we're going to use. Now, let's change this to shine to the power of 2 times shine. So same thing as shine to the power of 3. And we have cosh to the power of 11. And using this formula here, we can see that if we add both sides with shine, we have cosh squared is equal to 1 plus shine squared. So shine squared is cosh squared minus 1. Plugging it into our integral, we have cosh squared minus 1, which is this part here, times shine times cosh to the power of 11 dx. Here we can use u substitution to get rid of the shine. So we have all the cosh together. So let u equal to cosh of x. So what is the derivative of cosh? Well, it's going to be positive shine. And just for fun, what is the derivative of shine? Well, that's going to be cosh. So when we multiply both sides with dx here, we have du is equal to shine dx. And so dx is equal to 1 over shine du. Now we have the integral of u squared, because u is cosh, minus 1 times shine of x. And then times u to the power of 11, and dx is 1 over shine du. And as you can see, the shines will cancel out. So let's simplify that. We have the integral of u squared minus 1 times u to the power of 11 du, which is u to the power of 13 minus u to the power of 11 du. And what is the antiderivative of this? The antiderivative will be u to the power of 14 times 1 over 14 minus u to the power of 12 times 1 over 12 plus c. And we need to replace the u with the cosh, because that's what we started with originally. We have 1 over 14 times cosh to the power of 14 minus 1 over 12 times cosh to the power of 12 plus c. So we found our antiderivative. The next step is to find what is f at this value, and then find f at 0. And then we take this value minus this, and that will give us the answer to this integral. So f at the ln of 1 plus the square root of 2 is going to be equal to 1 over 14 times 
cosh and we just replace the x with this so we have ln of 1 plus the square root of 2 minus 1 over 12 and the same thing here and don't worry this is very easy to solve and that's because we can use our formula which is cosh of x is equal to e to the power of x plus e to the power of negative x over 2. So if we have cosh of the ln of 1 plus the square root of 2, that's going to give us e to the power of ln 1 plus the square root of 2 plus e to the power of negative ln 1 plus the square root of 2 over 2. Now, what is e to the power of ln of a? This is going to be a. So if you see here, we have e to the power of ln of 1 plus the square root of 2, this would just be 1 plus the square root of 2. Now let's solve this one separately and then we'll just put it back into this expression. So this here is equal to e to the power of ln of 1 plus the square root of 2 to the power of negative 1. Now let's bring this into the denominator. So we have 1 over e to the power of ln 1 plus the square root of 2 and this will be 1 over 1 plus the square root of 2 and we need to multiply by the conjugate so let's say we multiply by 1 but instead of writing 1 we're going to write the conjugate which is 1 minus the square root of 2 over 1 minus the square root of 2 that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 so we have 1 minus the square root of 2 1 times 1 gives you 1 1 times negative square root of 2 gives you negative square root of 2. Then positive square root of 2 times 1 gives you positive square root of 2. Then positive square root of 2 times negative square root of 2 gives you negative 2. So we have 1 minus the square root of 2 over, this here will cancel out, then 1 minus 2 gives you negative 1. So we end up with negative 1 minus the square root of 2, which is the square root of 2 minus 1. So we found out that this here is equal to the square root of 2 minus 1. So we will have 1 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 minus 1 over 2. So 1 and negative 1 will cancel out. Then we have 2 square root of 2 over 2, which will simply be the square root of 2. So how about cosh to the power of 14? So let's see. So cosh to the power of 14 of ln of 1 plus the square root of 2. This is the same as cosh, and then we have ln 1 plus the square root of 2 to the power of 14, which is the square root of 2 to the power of 14. And same thing for this guy over here. So if we have cosh to the power of 12 of this, this will be the square root of 2 to the power of 12. So we have 1 over 14 times the square root of 2 to the power of 14. And we can also rewrite this as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 14 minus 1 over 12 times the square root of 2 to the power of 12, which is 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 12. And we have 1 over 14 times 2 to the power of 7 minus 1 over 12 times 2 to the power of 6 and 2 to the power of 7 is 128 so we have 128 over 14 minus 2 to the power of 6 is 64 over 12 you should get 80 over 21 and don't forget to find f at 0 so f at 0 is 1 over 14 times cosh to the power of 14 of 0 minus 1 over 12 times cosh of 0 to the power of 12 so what is cosh at zero. So well, cosh at zero is one. And how about shine at zero? Well, shine at zero is zero. We have one over 14 times cosh of zero to the power of 14. That's the same as one to the power of 14 minus one over 12 times one to the power of 12. So this is one over 14 minus one over 12, which is negative one over 84. And we're almost done. So we know that this is AD over 21 minus F at 0 is negative 1 over 84. So this is the same as AD over 21 plus 1 over 84. Then we have 320 over 84 plus 1 over 84, which is 321 over 84. And we can simplify this by dividing the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. And we get 107 
over 28. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also share with your friends. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. With that being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.